What's up dudes, Zeb here, welcome back to another clashing video, but this one is a pretty special video, we just hit 300 subscribers, and we got just two Christmas trees in the center, look at that, so freaking sexy, one more and we got Illuminati confirmed, but anyway, this video will be for you guys, for 300 subscribers, I will do a Q&A in this video and answer every single person's questions that you guys gave me on the previous videos, and honestly you guys, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel, for coming back to my videos every single day, liking them, subscribing subscribing them, sharing them, you guys are amazing, and uh, 300 subscribers actually is a pretty, pretty, it's a huge milestone for me, so thank you guys for that, now let's go for 500, and if you guys do enjoy this video and want to see more Q&As, definitely let me know, and smash the like button, and subscribe, and we will do more Q&As in the future, so we're gonna take a look at, look at this freaking attack log, look at this, oh my gosh, that's so much loot, 400 to 500, holy crap, but we're gonna go into the previous war where I got freaking wrecked completely, um, we are on two war, two loose streak, I guess. But um, so <laughs> um, we got we got wrecked in this war. But let's go ahead and take a look at this replay and let's start answering some of your guys's questions. So first off, we have Flockness Girl with oh my gosh, eight questions, fourteen questions. Holy crap! Um, thanks for asking them. I will answer every single question that you guys have. And um, I think I'm gonna split your questions, Flockness Girl, into groups of four just to give other people a chance. Um, but I will answer every single one. So the first one is What is your favorite color? My favorite color will have to be dark red and I guess purple, purplish, bluish. Uh, I think, I, I don't know, I think that's, that's the one because I really like red and like dark red. And a lot of my uh, video thumbnails are actually dark red color and it just looks awesome. What is your favorite game? My favorite game would definitely have to be Clash of Clans. I've been playing it for years now and it's awesome. And look at these sexy hogs moving in. Perfect heal placement. Oh my gosh. I think this clan was actually modding because a few of their attacks were perfectly perfect, perfect attacks. I don't think you can do that without scoping the base first for traps or uh, just like trying to ignore the bombs, just trying to avoid them. It was just perfect attack and then Number two was also three stars, so I think they were modding. But anyway, let's go back to the question. Number three, will we ever make a Terraria video? I actually have no idea what Terraria is. So if you can let me know what is Terraria, is it like a game, PC game, iPhone game? Uh, I have no idea what it is, but I might make it. I might make a video on it if it's something that you guys want to see. Number four, where are you from? I'm sorry if it's personal, but you have an accent and I am really curious. I'm actually from Europe and I have been trying to lose my accent because I freaking hate it. Uh, <laughs> some chicks say that it's cute, but I, I don't know. I am not a fan of it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm trying to get rid of it, but it's just gonna stick with me, I guess. Uh, let's go into the next question from another person and then we will come back to you, Flockness Girl, in a few seconds. John Ryder is asking, Zebra, can you do a face cam in one of your videos? I will be doing a face cam, face reveal in the future, so stay tuned for that if you guys want to see that. It will not be anytime soon though, uh, not, definitely not in this video, but it will be in the future, maybe in a few months or so. Uh, but I definitely do want to make one. Cam is asking, hashtag Azab, are you a virgin? Say what? Next question and next attack. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and watch this. Gregor got destroyed by number one. Uh, next question. Let's go back to Flockness Girl. This is for you. Number five. What is the funniest video you ever posted? I think it would have to be this one. May I help you? We'll be asking the questions, old man. Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. Who are you? I have told you. Are you deaf? No, you is blind. I'm not blind, you blind. That is what I just said. You just said what? I did not say what. I said you. That's what I'm asking you. And you is answering. Shut up. You. Yes. Not you, him. What's your name? Me. Yes, you. I am me. He's me. And I'm you. And I'm about to whoop your old ass, man, because I'm sick of playing games. You, me, everybody's ass around here. Him. Number six. Hey, have you ever played FNAF? And if so, which ones? If you guys don't know what FNAF is, it's Five Nights at Freddy's. And I actually have, don't have the game. I have never played it, but it looks freaking fun. Especially the, all the scare, the jump scares. I did watch a bunch of YouTubers uh, record that game, and it looks pretty fun. I might get it in the future when I have time. Right now, I'm actually really busy. I study from like I wake up like eight, nine a.m. and then I study until like six. Then I make a quick video for you guys in the, in the few hours that I have before I go sleep. 
Uh, so I don't have any time for PC games right now because those take forever to render, to record, and to edit. Uh, but I will be trying to do them in, in a little bit, maybe in a few weeks or so. So uh, stay tuned for that. Number six, oh, wait, number seven. Which do you like better, Clash of Clans or Clash Royale? To be honest, I actually prefer Clash of Clans right now uh, because Clash Royale is a pretty fun game, but they are in beta, beta version. And beta version has shit ton of bugs. It has so many glitches. Like their matching system just sucks. I have like Prince. My Prince, as you guys know, Prince is actually OP. Uh, I have level one Prince, and I get matched with people who have like level four or five Prince. How am I supposed to like destroy them? I just get wrecked. So their matching system is not the best, but hopefully they will fix it before they release it to public. And if you guys are wondering when would be the live version to the whole world, that will probably be in uh, mid mid February, I would guess. A lot of companies usually release beta for like a month or two, so probably mid-May, maybe late May, maybe on Valentine's Day. Have no idea, you guys. Number eight, what is your favorite per first-person shooter? I have a bunch of FPS games that I like to watch. I don't really have as many that I actually play, and I don't have time to play. I do play Battlefield 3 sometimes. I know it's freaking old, you guys are gonna hate it. Uh, but I do play Battlefield from time to time. Uh, but I, the ones that I really like watching, probably BO3, uh, and um, Call of Duty is also fun, so a bunch of Call of Duty that I really like watching, but I have played Call of Duty in the, in, uh, with my friends before, but I never recorded one. Next question from Zshoot with, when will we do your 300 sub special and a happy smiley face? Um, I ha actually have no idea, dude, I don't even know what this video is about. <laughs> Uh, next one, we have Nautic Chronicles asking, what is your favorite Minecraft mode? Modded, specified, created, or survival? And he also has a second question. My favorite Minecraft mode will probably have to be modded. Uh, I'm not really a fan of vanilla survival. I know when I started Minecraft, when I started playing Minecraft, I did play some survival, some vanilla, but it gets boring. I mean, honestly, you find some diamonds within like 10, 20 minutes, and then you make some diamond gear, and then you're like, I'm done. What do I do now? Do I build? What? <laughs> but yeah, it gets boring. Uh, modded games, modded survival actually is super fun. I do enjoy modded games. Uh, Lucky Block races, challenges, burning maps, which I will be uploading in the future, you guys. So stay tuned for that. Uh, a lot of, actually my favorite, my favorite mod so far is Factions PvP. That is the most favorite modded server I love on Minecraft. I think it's Origin server. I tried factions a few weeks ago and I got and I fell in love with it. It's so freaking fun. It's exciting to find bases, raid them, destroy other people's bases, steal their stuff, and it's actually really fun. Uh, but yeah, that will have to be the, the, the best modded mode for Minecraft. Uh, what is your favorite TV, Netflix, or streaming show? I actually don't watch TV like at all <laughs> or Netflix. I just don't have time for TV. I'm more of a YouTube guy. I just watch a bunch of YouTubers post their funny shit. <laughs> but uh, probably the favorite one will have to be Netflix and chill. Yeah, if you guys know, if you guys get what I mean. Next one we have Pat Pat asking, and that's actually Pat the what the one we were recording micro with. So he's asking, do you want to see my mangina? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> Uh, MC Bros is asking, what level do we have to be to join your clan? You guys can join our clan Climax if you guys do want to. Uh, but we are currently re uh, requested. We are currently accepting level Town Hall 7 and 8, not Town Hall 9, and not anymore Town Hall 6s. We're denying any Town Hall 6. And the reason for that is Town Hall 6s are getting destroyed. Even Town Hall 7s are getting wrecked in wars. Every single war, they get 3 star. Uh, and that just sucks because we cannot like survive. We, can we just lose the wars. And that is because they match strong Town Hall 7s and Town Hall 8s, which they cannot destroy. And uh, probably in the future we will be recruiting Town Hall 9s and not Town Hall 7s. Because a lot of our Town Hall 7s, I think at least half of our Town Hall 7s are going Town Hall 8. And, uh, and they will be good for war once they get go wipe. And so I don't think having Town Hall 7s in war when we have everyone Town Hall 8 and 9 will be good for... For our clan, because we will be losing a bunch of wars because of that. Because they will get, they will be getting three star, and no matter how good of a base you make, you're still gonna get three star if you're a town hall seven. It's just how it works. 
Um, and this, uh, number three actually destroyed Elvis in this attack. Completely destroyed with, I think, Go Wipe, yeah. And some Hawks. Actually, it was a Goho. Go Wheel attack with some Giant. Weirdo. Uh, next question we have from Tony Slacks. Do you like soccer or basketball? Personally, out of those two, I prefer soccer. Uh, I guess I'm just from Europe and they freaking love soccer. But I also enjoy ice hockey. Except our team freaking sucks at attacking. Freaking ducks. Flockness Girl is back with holy crap, five or six more questions. I can't even count. But let's actually watch a few attack replays that we actually three star. Uh, enough of the failing defenses. <laughs> so Elvis was three starring this guy with Go Hill attack. And I know you guys think it's a Go Hill attack, but it's actually Go Hill because there's a bunch of wizards. There's more than eight wizards for the kill squad. There's like 13. So that's a Go Hill. But anyway, Flockness Girl number nine. Uh, is your Clash of Clans, is Clash of Clans your favorite app game? It definitely is my favorite iOS game and actually favorite game out of all. I do really enjoy Clash of Clans, it's just super freaking fun! Uh, number 10, what is your favorite Minecraft server? As I said, it's Origins. I forgot their IVP address. Uh, if you just go on Google, just Google Origins MC, you're gonna find it. That's the faction PvP server. And if you guys don't know what factions is, pretty much you can make a faction, like a clan basically. And you recruit, recruit people and then you go and find other people's bases and you destroy them and steal their shit. And that's actually fun. Number 11, I think. What is your favorite trip in Clash of Clans? Trip? I actually don't take trips to Clash of Clans because I freaking suck at attacking. But my favorite troop in Clash of Clans, if that's what you mean, would have to be Archer Queen. Because she's freaking amazing, especially when she flashes her tits and destroys the enemy. <laughs> um, even though she freaking sucks at attacking. Like, she just gets stuck on this freaking wall for like 5 minutes and then she just gets destroyed. But yeah, Queen, Archer Queen is definitely the best. <laughs> Number 12, what, is, what do you use to edit your videos? Hold on one minute, as I write these questions, I am actually watching the video and did you just say the Pekka went shopping? Anyway, Pekka really loves shopping, you guys, because that's a Valkyrie in, uh, in Pekka suit. And as you guys know, Valkyries are chicks and they love shopping. Um, <laughs> but anyway, what do I use to record, to record and edit? To record my videos, I use Reflector app. And uh, if you guys do want me to make a video on that, so you guys know how to record, I can, just let me know. But to edit, I use Adobe After Effects, and that's actually a really fun app. And it's a professional software for editing, and I just love using it. I've been using it since high school, and I love it. It's so fun. And this attack was actually biting me. I was attacking number 5, which is a Max Tahoe 9. Uh, what? What? Ta what? Really? That's a Tahoe 9, you guys? Yeah, MOG. Um, that's a Tahoe 8. Max Tahoe 8, his walls are not max, but... I think I'm gonna start attacking Nam Town Hall 9s in the future. I did practice Go Lava Go Go We La Loon attack. There we go. That's the two phase attack strategy for Town Hall 9s. And I got close. I destroyed all except like three defenses. And that's only because my queen is level 3. So I will be trying to do a bunch more videos on Town Hall 9 attacks as I get better at them. And also as I keep failing at them because I freaking suck at attacking. <laughs> but anyway, next question is we have. Uh, have you ever taken down a video? Oh my god, that's so many questions, you guys. Thank you guys so much. This is awesome. Have I ever taken down a video? Uh, public video? No. Private? Yes. I did take a few private videos down, and those were for school mostly, and I did take them down because they were not related to gaming. And I just didn't want them to be on my channel. <laughs> but public video, I will never take down unless it gets copyrighted for no reason. Um, then I have to take it down, but... Uh, pu a regular public videos, no, because uh, I don't know. Uh, what's, what's the point of taking them down if you upload it in the first place? Uh, a lot of YouTubers actually uh, removed their first videos that they posted to their channel because they feel embarrassed. And even though I kind of am embarrassed about the, like the first five videos, <laughs> they are really fun to watch. Just just to see how bad I was at recording, at commentating. I was saying um like every single second. And I was so shy at talking. <laughs> so if you guys do want to see that, check out my first videos. I will never take them down because even though they are embarrassing, they are fun to watch and you guys get a laugh. And that's all that matters. That you guys laugh and enjoy my videos. Next and the final question from Flockness Girl. Oh my gosh, Flockness Girl. Holy shit. That's a bunch of questions. Which annoys you more? Xmas, Noobs, or Nine Cat Song? Probably this. Every day. 
Next up, we have Zishu asking, when will we do a Q&A, bruh? Bruh, 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 bruh. bruh. <laughs> uh, we have Zadosef from our clan, actually in Clash of Clans, he was asking, what kind of dipping sauce <laughs> do you use on your girlfriend when you go south? <laughs> Uh, it will probably have to be sriracha sauce because it's freaking hot and you guys know what's not what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Next up, we have Naughty Chronicles asking, this is actually from previous year, from the last year. Uh, Quantum question of the day was, what is your plans for 2006 uh, with Ice uh, Smiley Face? Let me actually put another replay for you guys and... Um, this one is by Koragami and he 3 star this Town 8. Another max Town 8. Uh, what are my, my plans for Town 6? For Town <laughs> I just said my plans for Town 6. Yeah, guys, by the way, I'm actually going back down to Town 6. I'm just degrading my base. Yeah. <laughs> my plans for, for 2016 are gonna be YouTube. A bunch of YouTube videos. I do try to make them every single day. If I cannot make it a video in one day, I would do it the next day, the following day. I don't really want to skip more than two days, you guys, because I do want to keep my consistent schedule of uploading videos. Uh, but definitely a lot of videos. I'm never going to stop YouTube. I have no plans of stopping it. So a lot of videos will be coming up in this year. And um, stay tuned for that. And we'll see what 2016 has in store for us. RMJ131311 is asking, What is your accent? It's sort of hard to understand. Do you apologize if you guys cannot understand me? I'm trying to lose my accent, but as I said, a bunch of chicks say it's freaking cute and it's sexy, but I just kind of hate it. Um, it's a European accent, and I don't really like it. Zishu is asking, this was another common question all day. Where did you get the name Zebler? And also, what happened to Agario? As you guys know, when I started YouTube, I started uploading a few Agario videos, some trolling ones. I stopped them. I stopped playing Agario because it takes forever to get footage. And I would rather make more videos for you guys to enjoy than make like one Agario video a week and take like the week to edit it. Because just playing Agario is boring. So I did start making some troll videos, but they'll, they'll take forever because people just eat you in that game. They just destroy you. And you can't really troll people. <laughs> and it takes forever. So I would rather do use Clash of Clans and Clash Royale and some Minecraft because that is actually more fun. And uh, I can do a lot more of it. And um, what about Zebra with the name Zebra? So let me tell you, tell you a little story. When I was playing some computer games uh, a few years ago, probably six years ago, I was playing a game called Perfect World International with Naruto Chronicles and uh, a few other people. And my one of my friends was named Zebron. And I was when I was playing that game, I actually was making a bunch of characters for. It's a massive multiplayer game, so I was making a bunch of characters, and for each character, I needed a name. And sometimes it took me up to two hours to decide on a name. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so freaking boring. So I had to come up with a name that I would use in every single video. Video, I mean every single game, every single time I make a, an account. At that time, I was not making YouTube. I wish I did, but I, I was not. And so I was like, what can I make? What kind of name can I come up with that will be fun and that will be unique and that I can use every single time and not have to change it? So I was like, Zebron, that's a cool name, but I don't want to copy him. I want to make something unique. I want to make something special. So I was like, what can be something with Z? So I was like, Zab, Zab, Zab. And then I was playing another game, which was uh, Galaxy Empire. It was iOS game, and it's like futuristic galaxy type of game. And in there, they had something called Mysterious Nebula. Like, I don't want to get into that. It's like a bunch of explaining what it is, but basically... Nebula was like a cool word, and Zebron was another cool word, and I was like, what happens if I combine them? Hmm. And I was like, Zab, Zab, Zebular. Uh-oh. Boom. Mind blown. And that's when I come up with Zebular, and then I just added Gamey at the end, because I was like, I was into games, and I was like, Zebra Gamey. Boom. Perfect. Unique name that no one uses. I actually looked up, not a single person uses Zebular Gamey. So I was like, yay, for the win. And that's how I started using Zebra Gaming, and that's my name from now on. Next up, we have Pat Pat G asking. Now, this is actually his real question: Are you playing love games? I am not really playing love games. They are kind of boring. I like action games, like freaking this guy, real OG, destroy this base. Good job, dude. Town Seven versus Town Eight, destroyed. Uh, but love games? No, I do play one game, which is called Episode. It's basically an interactive game where someone writes a story, they let you play it, and you like you pick the fate of your character. Basically, they have a bunch of rom romance, uh, like episode games, I guess, a bunch of drama and some like comedy, 
and there is one that I am currently on, and it's like, it's like a three of them combined, so it's actually really fun. If you guys do want to check it out, just go on App Store and type in episode, what's your story, and that's and you guys will find it. It's a free app, and it's actually fun when you're bored. And for the final question, this video will have is from Zishu, and this was actually a common question of the day, and he's asking with a uh, question mark, question mark, question mark, and a bunch more question marks. Anyway, thank you guys so much for all of these questions. Honestly, you guys, this was amazing to have you guys. Thank you guys so much for an amazing year for 2016. That was awesome. 2016, 2015, you guys. Uh, 2016 will definitely be even better with a bunch of videos coming up. And if you guys do enjoy this video, definitely pick something awesome. So pick like, I don't know, pick this dragon up. Uh, and smash the like button and subscribe button for more Q&A videos and more Clash of Clans videos, you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys next time and next time will probably be a clash of clans video because you guys will seem to enjoy it you guys enjoy it way more than clash royale i will do both i might do them every every other day but a bunch of clash of clans video are coming up in the near future and um yeah you guys i will see you guys next time thank you for all of your support and peace out